Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and in today's video, I'm going to propose an idea that is unusually optimistic for video game writers or video game critics on YouTube, and that is the idea that 2017 may be the best year for games ever. Now obviously that's a very strong statement and it could all collapse within a matter of weeks after I'm recording this video but stick with me because I think 2017 is off to an unbelievable start. 2016 was a good year for games, I really enjoyed The Last Guardian, I loved a lot of the PlayStation VR stuff, I thought Inside was phenomenal and Uncharted 4 was great but a lot of the big games just didn't really do it for me, Watch Dogs 2 was okay, Battlefield 1 I enjoyed more or less, you know, Titanfall 2 was decent, but none of these games made me jump out of my seat and really get excited for them. And that was where 2017 always looked different to me. In January alone, you had Gravity Rush 2, Yakuza 0, and Resident Evil 7, all three games I was stupidly excited for, and all three games probably would have got in my Game of the Year list for 2016 if they'd have released a month earlier. And that really set the tone and has set the tone for 2017 so far for me. You know, we've had stuff like Tales of Berseria, Sniper Elite 4, Night in the Woods. These are all For Honor, Hatsune Miku. These are all really good games. And then there's been some phenomenal games. There's been stuff like Horizon Zero Dawn, which is the best franchise debut that Sony's done since The Last of Us comfortably. I mean, that is going to be a big brand moving forwards. And Aloy is now an established character, in my opinion. Um, stuff like Neo which really exceeded expectations. You know, this was a game that was announced for the PS3, I believe, years and years and years ago. It was stuck in development hell. It kind of re-emerged and Sony announced that it was going to publish it and it just got amazing reviews and the same with Nier Automata. You know, this is a game that, that the original was a cool classic. The idea of Square Enix teaming up with Platinum Games sounded cool but Platinum Games kind of has an iffy history. Sometimes they put out a hit, sometimes they put out a turd. Nier Automata is just tearing it up on Metacritic right now. I think it's at a 90. There's a chance that that could go higher. Um, and you you know, this is just the first three months of the year, it's only March. If I look a little further forward, there's Mass Effect Andromeda coming out. Yeah, there's some question marks over that from some of the fans maybe, but there's every chance that Bioware's going to knock this one out of the park. Persona 5 comes out next month, um, and that's going to be huge. You know, obviously the game's already out in Japan, we know it's good, um, but we haven't had a chance to play the English localization yet, and that's going to be, I think, a big game for the PS4 and very popular with critics and then there's smaller stuff like Crash Bandicoot which is coming to the PS4 that's going to be a big release for Sony and Activision and looking at the sort of traffic that we do on Crash Bandicoot on Push Square and um on YouTube, you know, I think this is actually going to be a, a really big commercial hit. It's priced right, the quality looks like it's there, the nostalgia's there, um, and, you know, that, that's going to be a big deal. You know, Crash Bandicoot is coming back and looks good. That's a major deal for 2017 in, in games. Um, and then you look, like, further afield. Obviously, this is a PlayStation channel, so I won't talk about it too much, but Legend of Zelda just had ridiculous review scores. Like, it's got a 98 on Metacritic. I personally don't believe that that will ever be beaten, certainly not anytime soon. That's ridiculous review scores. And on the Switch, um, you know, you've got Mario Odyssey coming up, and 3D Mario is always a big deal. But if we switch back to the PS4 alone, some of the stuff that's announced for holiday is like Destiny 2 is coming. There's going to be a huge amount of anticipation surrounding Destiny 2. Absolutely gigantic. Um, that game is just going to blow the ceiling off. Um, and also Star Wars Battlefront 2 sorry I'm just looking at a list because I've written all these games down there's so much stuff but the big one I think is Red Dead Redemption 2 now obviously it could get delayed um, but there's a good chance that we may see Red Dead Redemption 2 this year. That's what Rockstar's saying. They've taken a lot of time over this game. Um, it's been in development for a long, long time. Um, surely nearing six, six or seven years since the original Red Dead, since the last, I should say, Red Dead Redemption released. I know that there was Red Dead Revolver. You don't need to point it out in the comments. But yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be absolutely huge. And obviously, if it follows on the quality of 
of the the previous Red Dead Redemption, then it's going to be an amazing game as well. Um, there are a couple of years in gaming history that people always point to, and 1998 is the one that's widely considered the greatest ever. Some of the games that released in 1998 include Metal Gear Solid, uh, Ocarina of Time, Pokemon Red and Blue, and Half-Life. So they're pretty major, major games. And also 2007 was also another kind of banner year for gaming. There was stuff like Super Mario Galaxy, Uncharted 1, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, all big games. But for me, two th 2017 or 2017 is shaping up to be a year where everything seems to be exceeding expectations. You know, a lot of people thought Gravity Rush 2 was going to be good, it turned out to be great. A lot of people thought Yakuza 0 was going to be good, it turned out to be great. And same with Tales of Berseria, Resident Evil 7, even smaller stuff like Sniper Elite 4 and Night in the Woods. Horizon Zero Dawn, a few weeks ago, everyone thought it was going to be garbage. You know, Guerrilla Games has never written a good story. What makes it think it can take on an open world RPG? Well, hey, it did, and it's great. Near Automata, you know, the first game in the Nier series was really critically malicious aligned even though it developed a cult following you know it reviewed very very poorly and now you're looking at Nier Automata on a 90 are you serious um, and it just keeps going there's Kingdom Hearts there was Hatsune Miku there's Farana uh, I just think 2017 there's something happening here everything seems to be hitting and hitting hard um, and it's exciting these are exciting games unlike last year where the games seemed kind of rote and kind of boring we're seeing a resurgence of Japanese developers which is really exciting because they bring a different vibe a different tone to the industry we're seeing new IPs with Horizon Zero Dawn um, I'm just really stoked about 2017 so far, and yeah, it's a bold statement to say 2017 could be the best year ever. It's easy to say that in March, but I've never known a year start as strongly as this one, and I've been doing this quite a while now. This is definitely the strongest start to a year that I've known, and if it can maintain this momentum, I tell you what, 2017 is going to be one hell of a year. There's still stuff from Sony First Party that hasn't been dated. We could see Spider-Man, we could see God of War, we could see Detroit this year. That is exciting stuff, man, especially when Horizon Zero Dawn is just tearing up the charts at the moment and everybody's really loving it. The thought that Sony First Party could bring out a title that is better than that this year really exciting stuff um, but let me know what you think is 2017 going to be the greatest year for video games ever it's a strong statement it's a strong statement i mean but um yeah it's off to a strong start aren't we thanks so much for watching